all right what's going on youtube and stock market bulls and bears let's get into this video it's your boy terry z i'm going to be your host today and we are going to go over a very controversial stock on robin hood a lot of people bag on it but we're going to get into this here we're going to get into why do i have 100 shares of genius now <laughs> don't criticize me too much guys but here we go let's get into it so um, just a quick rundown in this account you see I have eleven $1 hundred seventy five dollars I only have eleven $1 hundred of my own dollars into it so even with everything I've done since I started with buying and selling and trading and learning the ins and outs of stocks I'm still up 75 bucks on my portfolio which hey I'm not losing so that's good I still am up 75 bucks regardless um, I did buy a couple shares today of CCL and more LCA, but I won't get into that into this video. That'll be for another video. Okay, so let's get into here to Genius Brands. Probably a very controversial stock that plummeted after some bad news, but let's get into my history here of why I have this. Okay, so here it is. Very controversial brand, as I say. It's a dollar seventy-two. This is the one-day chart. I wish I would have caught this around the 191 today it opened up really high like plus 5.5 percent i wish i would have sold a call um right around that point but had some things going on and it just kind of slowly maybe people bought in and then maybe pumped and dumped it a little bit i mean 20 cents i mean you, you buy a thousand shares you can make pretty good profit but you know it was at a dollar 91 and now we're at a, you know a dollar 72 so I'm trying to get my Robinhood account into level three of options trading. That way I can do, you know, the spreads and all where, you know, your money is safe. So you have to do options trading in order to be able to do that. So, and plus I wanted to do a stock that was a couple hundred dollars and to try the wheel method. So, you know, where you, Basically, let's get in here to it, what I did. So we're gonna trade genius options and we're gonna sell a put. So basically selling a put is basically saying you're the casino. Now let's rewind the clock a little bit when I did this. When I did this, we're gonna get back into my history here, but basically when you sell a put, you have to put up a collateral of basically the price times the share price of times 100. So that is basically what you're doing so like right here if if I'm selling a put basically if I want to say a dollar fifty I would only get a dollar because there's really no money to be made here but we'll get into the example what happened to me but you kinda get the idea dollar seventy two if it goes down to a dollar fifty you would be a shine you would be assigned a hundred shares a dollar fifty a piece and you only get a dollar collateral so it's really not worth it um, the sell put options are pretty horrible right now on Genius. We can look out a week, a week farther out. Now that's not bad. Eighteen dollars, you know, that's pretty good return. That's not bad. It's probably like about ten percent return, and then you know you may have one hundred fifty bucks and have a hundred shares, but you know it is what it is. Okay, so let's get back in here to it. So let's go into my Genius history here, and it's going to be a little painful. My average share cost is three dollars a share, and I kind of got stuck with these shares in a sense. So you know what? Everyone says you never lose money until you sell the shares, and don't be scared if you get assigned the shares and do the wheel method. So that is what happened here. When I did this, the share price was like three dollars and sixty-eight cents. Let me see if I can find that on the one-month chart here. Yeah, like 360. I think I was around like 360 something when I did it. So I sold a three dollar put. Let's get into my history here and get into it here. Um, let's see if I can get into my history here, guys. Sorry about this. Here we go. History. Show more on the history. Here we go. So I was assigned. So July 10th is when I did it. Like I said, the shares are right around. $3.60 a share and they had this big news they were going to reveal so I was thinking okay cool I only have to put up 300 collateral 
Now keep in mind, they already gave me $55 for doing that put. So I got $55 credited to my account and they held 300 collateral. So I was like, cool, not bad. And if it goes below three, I'm okay with it because I'm getting $55 as a collateral to just do the contract. Well, the news came out and that news was that Genius Brands teamed with Powell Entertainment, which is owned by Stan, well, Stan Lee. And I was like, oh, that's pretty good news, but I don't haven't really followed the comic industry a little bit too much. Um, there was a lot of videos out about hyping up Genius, and I figured it was one of the cheapest stocks that I could do the wheel method with. And basically what this means is, they can use the likeness and name of Stan Lee and they get to use like characters I, characters that aren't really well known and basically Genius has to make them known basically so yeah that's pretty much it and they can't use any of the Marvel characters that Stan Lee created because as you know Disney purchased Marvel so that was kind of a big letdown for people so basically everyone just sold their shares so I was assigned that so as you can see here then not the end of the world you know 300 bucks I still have my shares this there could be some good news one day and that stock could shoot up so I made $55 on that put assignment and as you see here the next week I did a $3 call sell and I made $11 so right there is $66 that I made and on the 22nd, I did a $2 call. Well, I'm sorry, yeah, on July, July 22nd. I do it like a day or two right before it's going to expire. That way then, I really don't want to let the shares go at $2, but it's just kind of where the price is at. And I was like, cool, a quick $17, I'll take it. So I made $55, $11, and $17 all in free collateral for just putting my shares on the contract and... I haven't even, I still own 100 shares, so I made 55, 66, 76, is that 74 dollars? 74 dollars guys I made so far, so we're not, we're not doing too bad right now. Let me just do the math real quick. So we got 17 plus 11 plus 55, I'm sorry, 83 dollars, my math is off. So, so far we have gained 83 dollars in collateral. So let's go back to the portfolio here. So we made, so my shares right now are worth $172. Plus we made, I think it was 83. So I'm at $255 plus, so I'm down like $45 right now total. Not the end of the world, $45. I still own the shares, so I'm technically not down any money because like they say, you only lose money when you sell. When you get scared and you sell, people see prices drop and then they just sell to recoup money. And I'm not going to do that with this. I'm just going to keep selling the calls every week, get five, ten dollars. I'll nickel and dime my way back and get up to the 300 bucks. And who knows? They could come out with some great news and this stock could pop. Could go back to 350 or four dollars a share. I sell calls and I just make more money on top of it. So you know. It's a good learning experience, but like I said, I'm not really down much money on it. And like I said, I'm still up $75 in total in my portfolio on my Robinhood account. Now, they did announce 11 hours ago that Genius Brands launched international cartoon channel on Apple iOS, breaking the single-day company download. So that's kind of good. And they got a lot of five-star ratings I didn't really go in here and read it but I'm keeping up with kind of you know what they do and you know they have a lot of stuff you type them in on Google they have a lot of news like this is a very controversial stock a lot of people will bag on it and you know it is what it is I mean you guys can get in now if you want to you don't have to but I just wanted to make this video and show you guys that if you do the wheel method and you do get stuck with the hundred shares don't be scared and sell them off just keep if you get assigned them, sell calls weekly and do it like two days or a day before, you know, the end of the week. And then boom, you can make five, ten, twenty dollar, you know, quick collateral, and you still get to keep your share. So if big news comes out, like I don't want to sell a call for me on like a Monday or Tuesday. Because what if big news comes out and then I'm stuck in that contract selling these shares at two dollars a share 
and let's just say this this thing shoots up to three dollars I just lost out on a lot of money so there's less risk if I do this on like a Wednesday Wednesday midday early Thursday because then basically Friday at the close of the stock market boom I still get to keep my hundred shares and that would be great so I'm only having about two days roughly maybe two and a half days uh, where I'm hoping there wouldn't be any great news for genius that way then I would still own my shares I mean this this stock 188,000 people I mean that's crazy I mean this is a very popular stock for some reason and it could be because it's cheap for the wheel method that's kind of why I did it there was a lot of hype around it now the hype's all gone but I'm still happy you know like I said I'm only down like 40 bucks on it with all the collateral I made and if it even stays around a dollar seventy dollar eighty if I keep getting ten dollar collateral every week like right now if I do trade if I sell a call with my hundred shares I could do two dollars it gives me eight dollars so I mean eight dollars is better than nothing and will the stock go up 28 cents in two days I don't know you know and even if it does what am I out like thirty dollars not end of the world so yeah that's pretty much it guys just kind of wanted to go in there and basically show my the reasoning why I have 100 shares of genius for the wheel method and just nickel and dime them, nickel and dime them way back up not worrying about a small loss um, like I said you never lose until you sell so alright guys um please give this video a like if you liked it it really helps out the channel and share it with your uh, friends and if you sign up down below on Robinhood using my link it'll get your boy a free share and you a free share as well when you link up your bank account and if you all do that I will make a video opening up free stocks that I do get and thanking the people that has definitely signed up using my link so alright guys that'll be it for this video and remember Z Nation for life